Exactly. And if you are doing any kind of outdoor entertaining, why wouldn't you want to be on trend? Well, we've got designer Ali Velji here, and we're going to be doing that coming up in just a few moments here from HomeSense. Exactly. Now that we finally have some decent weather, and just in time for the long weekend, Ali must have brought it for us. Well, you know what? I do what I can. <laughs> I do what I can. But we want to make sure that we have a pleasant space to be in. Absolutely. I think outdoor spaces in general, sometimes people don't think about because, you know, um, if, the, if you don't have a big yard or if you just have a small little balcony space, it doesn't mean that you can't have a chic and stylish outdoor living space. So we're going through some trends today. What's our first trend? So the first trend is geometrics. So when you talk about geometric prints, you know, you're seeing geometric prints being introduced with toss cushions, obviously. Um, so here we have more kind of like an 80s inspired, so really bold colors as well is something that you're seeing a lot of. But if this is a little bit too bold for you, you can still introduce the geometric print on your actual furniture piece, Very good. right? So you can see that this is woven. It looks absolutely beautiful. And this furniture is so fantastic because again, it is made for the outdoors, looks fabulous. You don't have to worry about it in the rain, in the snow, whatever, it can just stay outside. And I love the baskets there as well. Those well, are beautiful. Absolutely. So again, it doesn't mean just textiles that introduce kind of that geometric print. You can, you know, these beautiful lanterns are absolutely perfect. The rug is gorgeous dishes, right? So this is something that I love so much because these are melamine. There's nothing worse than going to a party to someone's house and they have plastic or a styrofoam. That is a big no-no in design. So <laughs> these are perfect because they're melamine, they're washable and look fabulous. Some great ideas from designer Ali Velji. For more information on him, you can go to his website. We've got lots more trends coming up throughout the morning, Jody. We talked geometric in the first segment. Coming up next, we are talking about the design, outdoor design for some of you that might have a bit of more edge to you. That's coming up next on Breakfast Television. only just the spring but this long weekend some of the things that we're doing Ali we can kind of incorporate as of now absolutely you can yes and so again this trend that we um, are going to talk about now is something that's a little bit more uh, along the lines of urban organic is what I like so to call for it. anyone that's a bit more edgy that's right this could be for them yes yeah, so um, and this setting actually is perfect for you know the people that have a small little patio you know um, so if you live in a condo space you don't have a lot of outdoor space something like this really could be so chic and beautiful outside so what gives us that urban organic look. So the feel. urban organic look, you're seeing a lot of um, elements of black being introduced. So whether the black is in a metal um, or uh, furniture, for example, upholstery, um, planters, uh, metal planters, black ones that are kind of a matte black, I think are a huge trend. You're seeing a lot of um, concrete being incorporated as well. And that whole organic comes from the concrete and then you're also seeing like really beautiful rustic elements being introduced as well, just to kind of add a bit of that warmth. And when we deal with the organic part, of course, we're incorporating hopefully living things if yes, you can. Yes, absolutely. Living things are a must for any kind of outdoor space. So um, again, I think living in Vancouver, you know, you can put tropicals outside and they, you know, look beautiful. They add that kind of really great textural element. And then we've also added some um, beautiful kind of accessories as well. So you're seeing that um, anything that's being incorporated in the indoors is also kind of then moving to the outdoors as well. So we have beautiful side tables, gorgeous kind of lanterns as well because lighting is key for outdoor. It sure is. Well, for more details, details on all the good uh, designs that Ali has, you can go to his website and we've got more trends again throughout the morning. We'll see you just after 7.30, Jody. Well, you know, one of the hottest, the hottest patios to go to could be your own and one of the hottest trends on the runways also makes the hottest trends in outdoor decor. We've got Ali Velji coming up next on Breakfast Television. Exactly, and our last one that we focused on, Ali, was urban organic, which was very dark yes. and green, and this is anything but. Oh, this is bold. <laughs> this is very, very bold. And this is what I love about it, because your interior should really reflect your personality. And if you are, you know, vibrant and you love your floral patterns, this is the exact look for you. And of course, talking floral, I mean, it's hot on the runways and in fashion right now, and you can bring it outdoors. Absolutely, absolutely you can. And so what we've done here is it's a simple sofa. Um, you can see it has white 
upholstery, a little bit of piping, but then we've just amped it up with these gorgeous floral cushions. Again, an easy way to change it up next season if all of a sudden you don't like florals anymore and you want to do something else, you just change out the, the pillows. We absolutely love dishes and these are my favorite thing. They're so much fun, right? Mm -hmm. So when you're thinking about florals, don't even think like we were talking about before with just upholstery. Think about your beautiful dishware. Think about adding really bold colors with, you know, um, things to serve um, your wine or your juice or whatever it is in and just have fun with your interiors. That's the main thing that you really need to think about. I love it. Some wonderful ideas. Uh, courtesy of Ali Velji, we are here at HomeSense all morning long. We've got one more segment, one more trend that's coming up just after 8.30 with Ali Jody. We've got more outdoor inspiration for your outdoor space. That's coming up in less than five minutes on Breakfast Television. Ali, I feel I need to sing You Light Up My Life because we're oh. lighting up yes, we our are. patio, right? We're talking inspiration mm -hmm. for your outdoor space. Yes, we're having a lantern party. Yes, <laughs> so um, lanterns are really great because I just find that they really add, you know, not only a beautiful design element, but also that kind of ambient lighting that you definitely need when you're entertaining outside. So whether it's you or a group of people, I think candlelight is amazing and to put it in a beautiful vessel like these lanterns is absolutely fabulous. Um, so these are actually more kind of on that rustic side. Um, they have a bit of kind of rust on them already, so when you leave them outside, they kind of get that patina anyway. Perfect. So it's, it is perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I love these additions of uh, black as well, because again, a little bit of black in any interior helps to ground the space. Um, so these are beautiful kind of iron pieces that I absolutely love with a bit of fret work. Um, and again, just a nice addition to kind of any outdoor space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now we have these beautiful, more modern, contemporary looks. Um, so additions of chrome, again, are great for that kind of sparkle. Um, and then bold colors, which I think are absolutely fabulous. So again, when it comes to outdoor, have fun and just enjoy. Thank you so much for some great inspiration this morning. By You're the way, so for welcome. everything that Ali does, you can go to his website. You've got some great design tips and people can keep an eye out for you as well. That's right. Thanks to HomeSense for having us out absolutely. here this morning. Jody, might get a little bit muddy. I'm going to be hanging out at the Cloverdale Rodeo tomorrow, so I'm going to have my boots and my hat on.